Crow after crow after crow. Oh my god. Well guys, another loss in the books for us. Week 3 didn't go the way we wanted it to. You know, what, what can I say? Monday Night Curse? Yeah, I, I really don't know what to say about this team at this point. Three games into the season. You know, week one, we take our foot off of the gas against the Eagles, and the refs didn't exactly help us. You know, week two, Cowboys pretty much outplayed us for the most part. There was a few bad calls that I think could have changed the game. Week three, we just looked bad tonight. And so, anyway, to all you Chicago Bear fans out there, congrats on the win. Uh, well, well, somebody definitely took the Monday Night Curse that this team has been on. Because, as you guys know, the Redskins always play bad Monday night. This year was no different. Can't say that I'm uh, surprised. Yeah, everybody got hit with the, with the beating stick at least once to, uh, the, uh, tonight. Even Case Keenum himself, as good of a quarterback as he's been for us through the first two games of the season. And, you know, fans are still saying that we need to start Dwayne Haskins, which with no offensive line, it doesn't matter who our quarterback is. Case Keenum was a nightmare. I think you can blame him for the loss tonight. Really, I really, even though it was Case Keenum's fault that we lost the game tonight, I really, I really want to blame the game itself for being Monday night, because the Bears, they're not a good team, we made them look good out there, so, I mean, I'm, I mean, for the most part, you know, we were getting blown out, we tried making a comeback, you know, we were down 28-3 to at half, uh, we tried coming back, you know, but the lead was way too big, and we have to settle for a, uh, 16-point loss, so a couple touchdowns, a couple of conversions, we could have, we could have tied the game, I guess. Um, you know, Hopkins missing a field goal certainly didn't help things. Now, that would have put us, you know, closer, but we still would have been down by 13 points. Case Keenum, he tried making a comeback, you know. I know he had three interceptions with a goose egg, and then he started coming back. He had, he had two touchdowns. He threw for over 300 yards. He was pretty accurate on the night. He tried redeeming himself, and I'm still happy that, you know, with Case Keenum. Even though he looked terrible, I don't blame this loss on him. I blame it just in general, for the entire team on Monday night in general, because I don't believe in, I, I don't believe that, you know, we should bench Case Keenum, you know, even though he had three interceptions. I mean, because still, through three games, Case Keenum, yes, he's got three interceptions. He's averaging an interception a game now because of that bad night, but he also has seven touchdowns along with over 800 yards. I think he has like 834 yards, something like that. So I still th I still don't blame uh, Case Keenum. I still think he needs to remain our quarterback going into week four. So even though we're 0-3, which is the first time since 2013, I'm not ready, again, just like I said last week, I'm not ready to throw in the towel just yet. There's still 13 games left in the season. And I know fans have already given up, you know, but I haven't yet. Uh, we're going up against the Giants this coming up week. Next week, I should say. You know, we're, we got to go to their house. The Giants have Daniel uh, Jones as their quarterback, so the Giants might, might try to make some noise. But Barkley is out, I think, for the most part, or at least he's supposed to be. Regardless, I don't think we're going to lose to the Giants, you know. Now, I'm sure everybody's going to say, you know, that watches this video, oh, we don't stand a chance against the Giants, you know, or something. But the Redskins have to win at one point. I still think we can make the playoffs, as crazy as I sound. Like I said, we got 13 games left. I mean, look at what the Texans did. They started off the season 0-3 before they won their first game. They won the AFC South with an 11-5 record. So there's... There's no doubt the Redskins could do the same thing as the Texans did last year. So, now, if we lose to the Giants and we fall to 0-4, then, yes, I, I am going to be concerned, and then our season will probably be down the drain because there's no, there's no excuse why we should lose to the Giants, and I really don't think we will. You know, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, say the excuse of, oh, the Redskins are going to be angry because, obviously... We can get angry all we want, and it's not going to help us, you know. 
an emotional loss against the Eagles week one. That didn't fuel us up for week two. Uh, Back-to-back rivalry losses obviously did not help tonight, you know, and I'm not going to go on here and say, you know, oh, the Redskins are angry because they're 0-3. You think the Giants give two fucks about that? I, I don't think so. But, yeah, I mean, our running game is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Our, our, uh, our running game is not good this year through the first three games. Our defense is still ain't worth a shit. Uh, our offense, it seems like, is getting slightly worse week after week. So, hopefully things will change. All I can say is, hopefully things will change when we take on the midgets week four. That's all I got to say right now. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I'll catch you guys next week against the Giants. Still hailing. Hopefully we'll take out the midgets next week.